Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to do a um, review again. So, uh, for those that don't know, a few weeks ago I did this um, a review evening thingy, basically, where I just reviewed um, episodes or like films. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today again and um, the difference between this time and last time is that uh, this time I'm going to be playing Minecraft while doing this so uh, yeah today I am going to be uh, talking about the film Encanto um, probably most of you will know about this as it is a very popular um, film and I actually have been watching it, I watched it today so I just thought why not do it if I'm going to be doing a review on something either way so uh, yeah um, I think that this film deserves a I think it deserves a 9 out of 10 it's a very good film um I really like the designs the overall plots of it um it's a very it's very nice um I like how it's all to do with family and solving the mystery of the actual uh, miracle of what's happening to it, and I real and I just love the songs in it. Um, they're very uh, nice, engaging. Um. So uh, yeah, uh, the characters are. Um, well animated and the overall design is um, really good and um, I like how it, um, it's about all the gifts that the family receives from the um, passing of Pedro and from abuelas um, and from abuela as well um, it's a really cool, cool but it doesn't I don't think it I don't think it should be a 10 just because I feel like um, there should have been a there was a lot of uh, unsolved mysteries, like um, why Mirabel didn't get a gift. Uh, when everyone did get it, some people say that um, is because she's the next uh, candle um, holder, like uh, Abuela is currently. And others say that she is what keeps the candle alive, her hope. And I don't think that it, that's possible to be true. But I still think that Mirabel should have. It's strange that Mirabel didn't get a gift at the end. It's It would just make a lot more sense to me. I'd say, um, if she did. Um, however, um, the film itself was really good, and um, also I really liked how um, on the character designs 
all of them had something to do with the power on it. Um, for example, um, Dolores has a a sandwich, have sandwiches on the dress, uh, to, because she can hear everything from far from far away. And I think that's a cool detail. And um. Um, yeah, I just, I liked how that was uh, in there. Um, I also really liked, um, how, um, like, the family was, like, all, all together at the end and, um, helped each other re and everyone helped them like rebuild their home and i think that's um really nice of the of the, uh, the more and um uh, yeah they, um okay there's a um So yeah, I think it was very nice. And I like the scene, uh, I've just seen uh, near the end where uh, we see what actually happened. Now, that was pro one of the, I think that was one of the best parts. But my favourite song, uh, Out of the War, was We Didn't Talk About Bruno. And I'm pretty sure it's the favourite of many people. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just a very... A nice and catchy song. Um, um, I've also I do um think that there could have been a bit more to it. Um. But overall, it was a good film uh, with many mysteries, but still very, still very, still very good. Like, the one that I'd want to know most about what happened is why Mirabel didn't get a gift at all. Is it, it, it's some just very strange to me that she's the only one that didn't get a gift but uh, and even at the end even I thought them well okay if she didn't get it at the beginning maybe she would get it at the end but uh, no she didn't get it at all so maybe there is something uh, more to it or I don't know, but I feel like um, Mirabel should have gotten a gift at the end. Mm, but yeah, and I like how it's all set in like an it's a village enclosed in um with in with like mountains surrounding it. Um. So yeah, that, that's a, that's a, I really like how that is. And then how everyone thing just breaks at, like when because when um they argue um when Abuela and Mirabel argue in the end it it breaks. It kind of it's because I feel like it's a good time where it completely everyone breaks down because like um. Mirabel kind of starts to lose hope and um, also feels um, as if sorry it just let me do okay and feels quite um, upset about the whole situation like 
um, Dolores read um, the talk about um, finding uh, Bruno's. Oh, I forgot what he saw. What I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, she's very old, and um, I'm sure that upset Mirabel at least a bit because um, now everyone knew and it could have been a bit they weren't happy about it um, how, and then when they're arguing it's like the family falling apart and then Katita falls apart so I think that makes a lot of sense Wait, for that that's the moment it falls apart. Uh, but yeah, um, it's a good film. Recommend it to watch. Um, for those that don't know, it's on Disney Plus. It's um, honestly really, really good. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I do know this theory that's. Uh, been going around uh, that uh, the actual villain of um, Encanto was um, Dolores because of how her power um, um, isn't actually um, that good she'd want to destroy um the magic so that she, uh, she didn't have to have it um so yeah i feel like that theory might be true but um I, i'm not exactly sure so i'm not gonna say anything about it any at the moment but yeah um we don't, we don't know if it's true so it's, but i but to me, it just makes sense if that happened. So, um, yeah, what are your opinions on the film? I'm sure some of you have watched it. So, um, comment down below what you thought of it. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and bye!